Hey, how's it going guys? Wonderful here, and in case you don't already know this, Roblox just released this update a few days ago that forces you to update the game just to play, and this is a big problem because on the newest version of Roblox you cannot exploit because of the anti-cheat, and in this video that I made two days ago, I showed you how to bypass this update with a fiddler method, but a ton of people were having issues with that, so I'm going to show you two new methods you can use right now to fix this issue. So for the first method here, we're going to be using a tool that's very similar to fiddler, but it's just a lot safer and easier to use, so as you can see, the first step of course is to revert your roblox version but just as always you want to go to this website which is going to be in the description here click this link right here that says roblox uwp open this up it's going to download a file in the top right open that up and you should have something that looks like this make sure roblox is closed before you do this and then click on the reinstall button so pretty simple here click reinstall it's going to install that for you and it's going to say it's ready to launch. So once you launch Roblox, you should be seeing this error. And we're going to be using this tool called HTTP Debugger Pro, which is going to be the second link in the description here. Once you get it, it's going to look something like this. All you want to do is click on next here, accept, install. That took like, what, two seconds right there. When you first get this tool right here, it should look something like this, but you should see this little button in the middle that says start or something about debugging. I didn't save a screenshot of it when I opened this up for the first time, but you just want to click that and then click OK. And the second thing you want to do in here is type www into this box right here, which is just www like you would for a website, and then go over here and close Roblox, and then reopen it again. You want to be reopening Roblox from the Microsoft Store, so once you've reopened Roblox with this typed in here, you're going to see this first thing over here that says roblox.com slash mobile API. Right click this, click copy, click URL. So pretty simple there. If you can't do this, join my Discord server and I'll have this link copied in there for you. But you just want to make sure that you restarted Roblox with this open. Once you've done that, go over here to your desktop, leave this open, just minimize it. Right click anywhere in your desktop, click new, text document, and just name this whatever you want. I'm going to call it folder. I don't know why I'm just calling it folder. And then over here, as you could see from my previous video, the same code. So you want to be using this code right here. I'm going to have this in the description. Copy this, put it into your new folder you just made, and then just save it. And once it's saved here, you can of course have this with just notepad or the way that I just showed you. Just have a text document with only this in it. And come back over here to the HTT debugger. Once you've done that, the second step is to go over here to the top and click on auto reply. So on HTT debugger, click add rule and then click with file that's going to open up your files on your computer what you want to do from here is click on desktop on the left side or wherever you put that text file you just made scroll down until you can find it so for me i called it folder click it click open and so you're in here if you accidentally copy the other thing you want to make sure that you copy this url again paste it into this box just like that so pretty much all we've done so far is done the, you copy this URL from here, which is from the www, paste it into this box here, and then you also opened up the auto reply file. It should look something like mine right now, and next thing all you want to do is click on save. Once it's saved, you can close Roblox, open it up again from the Microsoft Store, and here we go, we should be right in the game, as you can see. And once you are in the main menu, you can actually close this tool here and you should be completely fine. I could just join up into any game now. Ability Wars. Just join up into this game, mess around, do whatever you want. Mega X is actually one of the only executors that works right now because all key system executors kind of get messed up from these tools. So I am using this one. Inject. It should inject completely fine, as you can see. Let's execute an admin command script. There we go. We can like fly around now. We could do no clip you get the idea pretty much we can exploit just as we would normally be able to the first method in this video it is definitely easier than fiddler because there's less settings you have to change and stuff like that but it does also take a little bit more steps than this second method the first step of this method which is called the fluster method is to open up your windows settings so it's really easy to do that click this button click on settings or you could just search settings in that box all you want to do now is click on update and security and then on this left bar here, you want to click on four developers. So the like, second to last tab there, make sure you just turn on this feature right there. Click yes. Pretty simple. You don't have to turn on any of this other stuff here. Just developer mode. This allows you to install this version of Roblox. Pretty much what this is, is a version of Roblox that does not get detected as being old. And revert Roblox before you do this, but it really won't matter no matter what. Open it up. It's going to say Windows protected your PC. Click run anyway. As you can see, it's going to stay preparing everything for the startup, copying binaries, setting up Fluster. It's all done and it closed. That means you have the installation of the Fluster version of Roblox on your computer. 
So to find it, you can just look up the word fluster in your Windows search bar, or it should be right here at the top. If you open this up now, you're going to have a permanently working version of Roblox. And you will have to re-log in with this version, but as you can see, now it works completely fine and you'll never have to open up any Fiddler or HTTP debugger ever again. And pretty much how this works is it is the old version of Roblox, except they make the game think that you're running a newer version. So huge credits to this guy named Serial with Milk for making this Fluster version. It's insanely overpowered because this prevents people from having any issues with Fiddler. If you want to check out his Discord server, I'll have a link for that in my server or in the description. If you want to join that, show him some support. He also made the first GitHub for the old version of Roblox, which is the, the reverting thing. And yeah, as you can see, I'm going into this game completely fine here. And just to prove that this still works with exploits, as you can see right here, it says Fluster 32-bit. And 32-bit is the version that does not have the anti-cheat on it. So this version will need to be updated every single time Roblox has an update. But if you want to do this without this version, you can of course just use HTTP Debugger or uh, Fiddler. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you can. And as always, peace.